Hey, this is James. Uh, today I'm going to show you some uh, additional stuff about beams. So how to calculate some uh, uh, more information about the beams. So following on from yes, uh, last week's uh, episode where I talked about using beams uh, for ramps. So today I want to get some additional information from those beams. For example, what is the percentage so we can work out the angle of the slope uh, by default but I'll show how to convert that into a percentage and also how to convert that into a ratio and then how to schedule uh, this. So all I've done now is model just three beams so I'm going to select the first one I'm going to use three different uh, angles so let's say the first one is uh, say let's say 10 degrees and then the second one, let's say maybe this is only eight. And then let's say the last one is five degrees. Okay, so I'm going to go back into the settings because I just want to check the length. So here the length of the actual beam. So I'm going to make this uh, four meters. Exactly. And then maybe I'll make the next one let's say five meters in length. And then the last beam, I'm going to make six meters. Okay, so let's uh, create a schedule just with the information that we have now. So I'm going to go schedule, new schedule. I'm just say, going to call this uh, beams and go OK. Uh, for now, I only have beams, so I'm just going to filter this to beams. Ideally, I'd want to use uh, classification. And I'm going to add some fields. So let's say uh, we want the slant, uh, the angle, so the beam slant angle. Actually, the slant angle under general uh, gives us the same value. So for now, I'll just use the beam slant angle. And I want a length. Uh, for beam, we have a left and right. Both will give us this uh, value. The 3D length will give us a slightly different value. So for now, we want to use the maybe length left. So I'll add that one in. And we'll check this just to make sure it matches uh, what we input. So OK. And then just going to double click and have a look at the schedule. So here I've got the 5 degree, 8 degree, 10 degree. Uh, six meter long, five meter long, and four meter long. So now we want to add some custom data here to indicate what is the percentage of the slope. So if this was 45, then I think it will be 100%. Uh, and then, then also we can work out a ratio uh, for this. So we need to have some basic uh, trigonometry. And maybe by that you're thinking, oh, trigonometry. Um, so here I've just made a little uh, graph or a table. So it uh, takes us back to kind of high school maths. So we have an angle, we have the hypotenuse, uh, the opposite and adjacent. So we need to use sine, cos and tan to work out what the length of the adjacent uh, length is and the opposite length of this triangle. So the, det the length that we have now is the hypot hypotenuse and we have the angle. So from those two bits of information, we can work out the other, uh, other data here. So I've just shown um, regarding the sine, but then we can multiply by the hot pot news to work out what the opposite is, work out what the adjacent is here uh, from these. And we can also work out the percentage by using tan when we presume that the adjacent is, uh, is 100. So for the percentage. So I'm going to go up to my property manager. So I'm going to create some new properties and then we'll do some calculations within the properties. So I'm going to go new. I actually might create a new group for this information. So I'm going to say group and I'm just going to call this uh, beam calcs. So for calculations, okay. And I think that adds it to the bottom, okay. And then we need to add a new property. And I'm going to say beam 
angle as percentage. Uh, yep. So, okay. And for the other ones, I think we'll probably just duplicate this one. So we want the first one to be set as a number. So it's not going to be a length or area. So it's just a number. I could possibly use integer as well. So if we don't want it rounding, but a number will have decimal points as per the system, the, as per the preferences. And I want to first make sure my classification is set so the beam will take this uh, data. So I'm going to go custom, edit, then search for beam, if I can spell beam. Uh, so here beam, uh, check, good, then okay. Uh, so I don't need this for any other tool, so just the beam. Back to my value definition, so we've set this as number and I'm going to use an expression. And we need to just do a simple calculation. So I'm just going to go tan and then two brackets. And I need the tan of the angle. So if I go beam slant angle into here, and then I'm going to multiply that by 100 to get the percentage. So OK. So all we've done is just add a, an expression to this number, which is the tan of the slant angle. Uh, times by 100, so we can work out a percentage. Uh, so let's add this one first, and then we'll create the others uh, in a second. So go OK, and maybe I'll leave it on this. So I'm going to go to my schedule, scheme, and I'm going to add this new property that just created. So down the bottom here, I have my beam calcs and my beam angle as percentage. So double click to add this. And OK. And my heading's a little bit uh, big. OK, so now we've got a percentage. We can test this by uh, making a new beam that is at 45 degrees and see if the percentage here is going to be uh, 100. So I'm going to go to my beams. And I'm just going to duplicate one. Open up the properties. Set this to 45 degrees. And OK. And because it keeps the uh, floor plan length, so I'm just going to modify the length maybe to 8 meters. And OK. So let's go back to my schedule just to see if this one gets added up. So here it's the 45 degree, 8 meter length, and the percentage is 100. So I'm going to just rename the header to percent. Great. So we've got the percentage. Now I need to add the ratio. So how, how the slope is uh, portrayed in a ratio, so one to something. Uh, for that, we need to work out both the uh, opposite, so this, uh, this length, and also this length. So we need to work out both the opposite and the adjacent, and then we need to do a calculation on the two uh, to, to work out what the ratio is between those two. So I need to go back to my property manager, uh, down to my beam calcs. Uh, for now, I'm just going to duplicate this one. So I'm going to go duplicate. And the next two are actually going to be lengths. And I can see this is an uh, incorrect format currently. But I actually need a physical length. So the kind of height that arises and then the floor plan uh, length here. So go into my expression, and I'm just going to uh, keep this, but I'm going to sort of modify it a little bit. So the first one to get the rise, so the uh, was it the opposite. So I need to sign of the angle, and I need to multiply that by the hypotenuse, which is the beam. I think just length. Uh, left is the one we'll be using. So this is the hypotenuse. And I can see that the uh, expression is already OK. So I'm going to go OK. Uh, my classification should still be fine because we duplicated the previous one. And I'm just going to rename this. So beam opposites. Uh, maybe this will do. So it's kind of the how, how, how tall it rises. 
And while I'm here, I'm going to make the uh, other ones as well. So I'm going to duplicate this one. And we're going to say adjacent. And I just need to modify my expression a little bit. So instead of being sine, I need to use cos. But using the same, uh, same thing. So I'm using this cos rather than the sine. And OK. So now that we have these two, I need to create another one, which will then create a ratio between these two. So I'm going to duplicate again. And I'm going to switch this to number in this time, because the ratio is not a length, it's just a value. And in my expression editor, I'm going to delete what I have currently. And I need to work out um, sort of one divided by the other. So if we go down to my properties, beam calcs, so I need to work out uh, this one is just the showing because it's the one I have selected here. So I think I need a adjacent and I need to divide that by the opposite. By opposite and that's all. So OK. Uh, I think that seems right. So the larger length divided by the shorter. So and then we'll add this and then we'll see how uh, how this works in the schedule. So uh, first I'm going to rename. So the beam ratio. Okay. Back to my schedule and then we can add these information. I don't need to add all of them. So I'm going to add these fields. Uh, basically we just needed the ratio. So we could add the opposite and adjacent. So maybe we can add these and move the ratio to the end, uh, just for reference. So OK, and let's see how that looks. So currently the ratio is set 1, 1 to 11.43, uh, uh, to 7, uh, 5 point, uh, or to 1. So this is 1 to 1, which makes sense that it's a 45 degree. So this one's quite good to use. Uh, as it kind of um, to test against uh, the 45 degree. Uh, we can't, so if we try to edit this value, it will just become custom. So rather than the calculated value, so I'm just going to go into my classifications. And yeah, so now this one became custom. So I didn't edit backwards, it's just a uh, it's no longer using the expression and I've just typed in 12. So we want to go back to the default, which is the expression. So that's just something to keep in mind. Okay, so hopefully this was uh, useful to be able to do some basic uh, trigonometry calculations to work out the angle percentage of uh, the angle as a percentage for the beam and also for the ratio of the beam. Uh, I could change this to integer uh, if, we if we don't need the um, decimal points. So if we just want to round. So I can just go into property manager and instead of using number, use integer and OK. And then I just have the rounded uh, values here. So this is also an option. The decimal points is controlled by the uh, uh, project preferences. Uh, if you need if you need to do it but depending on if you need the rounding or or you could use integer okay so hopefully that wasn't too scary or take you back to um, high school maths class but uh, I think these are uh, quite useful uh, techniques so thanks and until next time